What is it, buddy? It is Kurt Bagel for Six here. Yet again, another video. Today, it's going to be my Survivor Series 2014 pay per view uh, predictions that will be live on the WWE Network for $9.99. Actually, for new subscribers, it's absolutely free. And after he hearing some uh, more people's opinions on the show and giving my own opinion, collectively, I can say, based on all the IWC, it should be free. The build to this pay-per-view has been horrible. It does not feel like a Survivor Series at all. It feels like a regular pay-per-view that's coming up and they just have some tag team matches on there. It doesn't feel like a a big four paper event. You know, you'd always have those big four. You have the Royal Rumble, you have WrestleMania, you have SummerSlam, Survivor Series. And Survivor Series has really declined over the past couple of years, but this it does not look like a good card heading into the show. Uh, I think there's five matches announced. Uh, there'll probably be another filler match in there, here or there. They might even add another traditional Survivor Series tag team match. But who knows? Yeah, we only have one 5-on-5 five -on -five traditional Survivor Series match. Then we have a 4-on-4 -four -four Divas match, a Fatal 4-Way tag match, and uh, two singles matches. So, yeah, two Divas matches and three uh, men matches. Uh, so, yeah, there we go. Anyway, uh... It's my uh, Survivor Series 2014 pay-per-view predictions. Please leave a comment in the comment section below talking about uh, this show. I got some other stuff going on. And uh, let me know if you're excited for it. Do not care at all. Um, and just sound off in the comment section below, whatever, about this show. Anyway, they're probably going to kick off Survivor Series with this opener. Uh, Fatal 4-Way match for the WWE Tag Team title is going to be Goldust and Stardust. Damian Mizdow and The Miz, Los Matadores, and... Uh, and the Usos will all be involved in this match. Um, they have a, they had a couple of uh, tag teams which each one kind of participated in, like Goldust and Stardust would face Los Matadores. Los Matadores would face uh, Miz and Mizdale. Usos face Miz and Mizdale, and then Goldust and Stardust. They've had all these kind of matches, and they're kind of intertwining because Los Matadores picked up a win on Goldust and Stardust in the past past week. Uh, Usos picked up a win, Miz and Mizdow beat like Los Matadores and stuff, so because of that, they're having this big Fatal 4-Way Tag Team Championship match. Um, I think this is the pay-per-view where Goldust and Stardust lose the Tag Team Championships. I think they're going to change it up. I don't see Los Matadores winning the ti tag titles. Uh, it's either going to be Miz and Mizdow or the Usos, but I'm going to go with the Miz and Mizdow uh, to win the Tag Team titles to get the crowd off going, um, giving them both a, a pretty big win here and getting Mizdow back on track because what I think they're going with is that Miz style is getting so popular that Miz is getting jealous, and eventually when they lose the tag team titles, Miz will just snap. I think they're going to lose to the Usos or something like that near January, February time, and Miz and Miz Dow basically, uh, Miz is going to sound off or and just going to go off on Miz Dow, and then Sandow will turn face pretty much, and then they're going to have a big match at WrestleMania 31, which I think is that I think that would be great. You could have a really good story and it'd be built up well too. Um, so yeah, Miz and Miz down to pick up this win, and then a match after that that will probably go on will be the Divas Championship match, AJ Lee versus Nikki Bella. It's been rumored AJ Lee is leaving the company uh, after Survivor Series, and I'm going to go with Nikki Bella to win here because I think they're going to kind of involve the Divas title in the Bella storyline. It's been completely garbage, and everybody knows it's been garbage and stuff, but yeah, I'm going to go with Nikki Bella to win here. Shouldn't be anything special or great. Should get at least 10 minutes, possibly. Um, yeah, that's happening. And then the next match, uh, you will get... I don't think they're going to have two Divas match back-to-back, -back, but let's just go ahead and just add someone in there. Alicia Fox, Natalia, Naomi, and Emma versus Paige, Cameron, Summer Rae, and Layla. Um, Babyface just... Baby faces should go over here. I think Natalia, Alicia Fox, Naomi, and Emma should win here. Alicia Fox has turned face and heel 15 times already. She's the big show of the Divas division. Uh, I don't, I don't know. The Divas division just sucks. I'm just saying, put, put it out there. Yeah. Um, Bray Wyatt versus Dean Ambrose. This match has just been an uninspired feud. After Hell in a Cell and the great ending. Um, as you could call that, to uh, ending the Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose feud. Everybody was kind of pumped and kind of, it was a bittersweet, uh, hell in a cell kind of thing at the ending. Uh, you know, starting of a new feud that was going to be great between the Lunatic Fringe versus Bray Wyatt, who is one of the most 
craziest, um, one of the best compelling character in a very, very long time in the WWE, let's just say that. Ambrose is a cool enigma in, in and of himself. Um, I think he's he's great. He has a great connection with the fans. But it seems as if after he stopped, you know, feeding with the authority, he's been kind of set aside. Um, and, you know, I just, it just feels like he's kind of been getting a, um, I don't want to say dirty deed because that'd be, um, that'd be too much of a pun. But he's getting somewhat uh, mistreatment because I just think that they kind of had him going for the main event for a while. They were really pushing him hard. He was first and last segment and he was in these big matches and stuff on Raw and he was main eventing a pay-per-view. Then it just... He's not really even featured on Raw. They don't really talk about him much. The Bray Wyatt Dean Ambrose feud isn't really even talked about at all. They just say, oh, by the way, this match is going to be on there and stuff like that. It's not really, you know, featured at all, like I just said. Um, Bray Wyatt came back. Um, I feel like Bray Wyatt nearly really needs to do something fresh here. Ever since the Wyatts have split up, Luke Harper is uh, more of an accomplished single star than he is at the current moment. I mean, Luke Harper's the Intercontinental Champion. Intercontinental Champion. The only thing Bray Wyatt has ever done, pretty much, is just have a WrestleMania match with John Cena, and look how that happened with him. Um, and now they're trying to uh, rise Bray Wyatt back up. They're trying to build him back up after being buried by Cena. And for those internet retards out there that say Bray Wyatt was not buried by Cena, are just complete dumb dummies. They're, they're just dumb. Because Bray Wyatt was completely buried, and I don't think he's going to recover, but I really want him to... I love Bray Wyatt to death, my favorite wrestler, and I still have hope for him, but let's just hope it all um, gets better. Um, but but we'll see, and only time will tell until, uh, you know, after this match and see how they do. I, and um, like my friend Johnson and his prediction, I think I think they're going to kind of hold off. I think they're not going to go full blast. They're not going to kick it into third gear in this match and go crazy. Um I think they're going to wait to TLC and have like a tables match or a last man standing match. I think uh, Wyatt will put Ambrose through a table and Wyatt will win by, say, uh, count out or disqualification or something. Or both men will go out on the table or something like that. And they will both like be out for the count of ten. And then we'll have a last man standing match or a tables match. Something will be like that at TLC. Um, but, yeah, I... And, you, and if this is a... Um, you know, anybody could win this match. It could be either Ambrose or Wyatt. Take your pick, really. Um, I just, I, I'll, I'll go with Bray Wyatt here because he just came back. But I just hate how they're kind of killing Ambrose off. I mean, he's lost like a lot of pay-per-view matches. Let's see, wasn't on Night of Champions. Uh, lost at Money in the Bank. Lost at uh, you know, SummerSlam to Seth Rollins. Uh, lost at Hell in a Cell. I uh, feels like he's kind of getting the Ryback treatment to some degree. Um. You know, of course, he's been screwed in almost every match in a screwy finish. I mean, at Money in the Bank, Kane cost him the briefcase. SummerSlam, he got hit in the head with the briefcase, and Rollins won at SummerSlam. Hell in a Cell, Wyatt interferes when he was about to win. So, he's not completely buried yet, um, but I still think they need to give a, a clean rub to Ambrose hitting into WrestleMania. Maybe at TLC, they'll get him the big win. But then after that, where does that leave Wyatt? He gets one win, but Ambrose wins the war pretty much. You know, I just... They're really, really um, treading water here on this feud, and it's just—it's not going to end well for one of these guys. Um, if you really want to, I think you need to give this win to Wyatt. Uh, I don't think it'll be clean, to be honest, but you know who knows. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go with Wyatt to win that match. Then we get to—oh, but before I get into the main event and get my thoughts on it. Um, Expect to possibly see a, another traditional Survivor Series match between guys like Cesaro, Tyson Kidd it will be in there. You know, other guys like that, but that's probably not going to be expected, I guess. But have it in the back of your mind because it could happen to gain more things on the card. But since they already have three tag team matches, that's very unlikely. Um, another match we'll see possibly as a singles match will be Adam Rose versus The Bunny. Yes, Adam Rose versus The Bunny, unfortunately. Adam Rose will win that match. Hopefully they'll kill off the bunny character. I hope somebody, anybody, I hope Cesaro dumps him in like the fifth row or something like that. And I'm sure in probably like another week and a half, Cesaro on the Christmas edition of Raw will probably be getting a roll-up uh, defeat to the bunny. I think the bunny will probably bury Cesaro. God bless Cesaro. Oh my lord, Cesaro has been buried. Um, 
yeah, then we get to the main event. Uh, we got a 5-1-5 traditional Survivor Series match. Team Authority versus Team Cena. The Authority lose their out of power. And I heard that the stipulation for Team Cena is is that if Cena's team loses, everybody on that team is fired except Cena. So basically, they're just kind of going off on the limb saying that if you want to join Cena, your career is on the line pretty much because they said like Cena was valuable and, and wasn't replaceable like the other guys. I don't know. It was some dumb like that on SmackDown. I read on the spoilers, and that is true. That is confirmed. Um, so yeah, but pretty much because of this stipulation, I think it's confirmed Cena's team is walking away with a W. Um, there's been rumors floating around that Stephanie McMahon is pregnant. If she is, that would give a green light for them to you know stop the authorities um, storyline, have Triple H and Stephanie McMahon go away for a while. Um, and have Mick Foley come back as general manager. Even Stone Cold, anybody would come back, and that'd, that'd be awesome. Um, but yeah, I think I think Team Cena is gonna win. But when it comes to eliminations, uh, you know, you got guys like on the Authority: Rusev, Luke Harper, Mark Henry, Kane, Seth Rollins versus Eric Rowan of all people. Um, who else is on the team? Uh, Big Show. Um, Cena, Ziggler, I'm, I'm forgetting somebody. Big Show, Ziggler, Cena. Oh, Ryback. See, I, again, Ryback's on the team. It shows you how much I care about Ryback, that's for sure. That, really, I mean, I've just been disinterested lately. It's just, it, 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 it's, it's mind-boggling. It's really, it really is. Um... I see Cena and Ryback being kind of the last two on the team. Maybe Ziggler would be in there too. Um, Rollins, I can see Rollins and Rusev maybe. I can see Rusev picking up two eliminations here. I don't think they're going to go double down and have like Rusev eliminate a lot of people like Roman Reigns did last year in Survivor Series. I don't think they want to do that. But, I don't know. But, you know, who knows? I like to see Rusev get a lot of eliminations here. Uh, I don't know. I hope they do this some sort of way where Rusev doesn't get look like he's getting hurt. Uh, well, hurt his character getting pinned. I think he should get counted out or disqualified for like hitting uh, Big Show with a chair or something like that. Um, so you got they're kind of intertwining feuds. Uh, you know, Rusev, Big Show. It was Rusev, Sheamus in there kind of. It was now it's Ziggler's kind of intertwined there with Kane and Ziggler's with Harper and Harper's with Rowan kind of intertwined and. Then you got um, Ryback and the Authority and the Authority and Cena and I don't know. It's just it's all kind of meshed together, but it's just kind of sloppy at the same time. It doesn't feel like a big match or anything like that. But yeah, I, I think I see Cena and Rollins in the final two, and then Kane uh, when the referees down hits Cena with a chair, but then Orton comes out of nowhere. RKO's Kane, then RKO's Rollins. Cena picks up the win. Crowd goes home happy in St. Louis. Um, and they win here. So, yeah, they're going to stop the authority uh, storyline. Uh, there was another thing I heard on the internet. Somebody was going to say, what if uh, Team Cena wins, Team Cena loses, and then they're about to all get fired, and then Vince McMahon comes out, and they're going to have the big feud with Vince McMahon and Triple H, and then it'll be Triple H versus whoever Vince McMahon picks the representative at WrestleMania 31 for control of the company. I don't know. Um, it's It could go that route, or but I think it's best that Team Cena wins because the authority line is just... Storyline, authority storyline has just gotten stale. I mean, it's it's whatever. Survivor Series, I'm not excited at all to watch it, but I'll watch it anyway. I'll review it probably on Monday, so yeah, I'll be back. Um, uh, because Thanksgiving is coming up and Thanksgiving break, I have more time to do videos and all that kind of good stuff. Christmas is coming up and breaks for um school that's that's all fantastic and well and thank you for watching this video and i'll have some more stuff coming up soon peace